I really like that ending song. It is such a good song. I found, like, this series music is, like, top of the line good. Oh, man. Oh, so, anyway, guys, let's talk about these three episodes for Angel Beats. I'm starting to get the premise of this series now. It looks like all, everyone in this, I guess, this campus school life setting died, re died, and... Right now, this is kind of like the, this is like the afterlife for them. But the thing is, they, instead of passing on and being reincarnated, they're choosing to stay here because they're, they enjoy the life that they're leading in this campus, in this area. And Angel is, is someone, I guess, the antagonist of this series. She's trying to help these kids pass rest in peace and get reincarnated into the next cycle so that that's why um they're rebelling against her because for them it feels like they don't want to be reincarnated because for them if they become reincarnated that's it they're, they're the, the person they are right now is officially dead they don't want to lose the person they are at the moment they don't want to vanish from this world they want to stay so that is why they constantly fight against um, uh, Angel. And I'm just saying, that that girl is crazy OP. She, if she's shot, it's not fatal. She has healing. She can create barriers, make lethal weapons. She, like, what the hell? What's interesting also about the series is our main character. He has amnesia. He doesn't remember who he was when he passed away before passing away. So everyone else knows who they were in their previous lifetime. But he does not remember a thing. Strange. What I'm thinking though is that my theory at first was that all the reason why they're in this particular school setting is because they all died on this campus somehow some way excuse me that's my it, that's my theory but it looks but it seems like it wasn't it they all died in separate situations in separate areas i'm a, like well i'm not sure maybe because if you really think about it, yuri's situation is she went through hell but we still don't know how she died. How did she initially die? Did she commit suicide? Was she killed? Like, how did she die? We don't know. All we do know is she probably died at this age. Like, the age that they are right now is probably how they died. When they died. Same with the Rockstar girl. We knew that she, like, hit herself like she got hit on the head because of her dumbass drunk dad be causing her a severe injury so to where she can no longer speak and that was traumatizing for her what i'm thinking is that the reason why these kids haven't okay you know the saying right the reason why there's some people that still linger on this world and don't officially rest in peace and pass away is because they commit because you know when you commit suicide you don't rest in peace you continue on living even as a spirit so i'm assuming some of these kids like i feel like yuri did commit suicide same thing with the onizawa or oizawa the the rock star girl like I feel like they committed suicide because we never were shown how they officially died. All we know is they went through hellish situations that made them feel hurt and in pain. So what I'm thinking is that Yuri probably committed suicide because she couldn't live anymore knowing that she felt like her, her siblings passed away and they were killed. She couldn't live with that grief anymore. Same thing with uh, the Rockstar Girl. The fact that she couldn't play anymore. Her parents are always fighting. It was too much for her that she committed suicide. So I'm thinking most of these kids are here 
specifically because they all share a common situation. They could not rest in peace, therefore they all committed suicide. That's what I'm thinking why they passed away. I mean, why they're here in this setting and why they all share the situation. Because it all looks like they share different scenarios. As for the main character, we still don't know exactly why he passed away. All we know is he passed away. That's it. And he ended up on campus here. But once again, the character that really has me intrigued has to be this angel girl. She is apparently we don't I don't know what she is. Is she an angel? Is she like is she a messenger of God? Is she God herself? Like, I don't know what she is. But all I do know is she wants these kids to rest in peace. She wants them to be reincarnated. I don't necessarily think she's the bad. She's an evil character. I just think she's doing what she has to do. Like, her duty. And honestly, that sucks. Because uh, these kids don't want to go. They want to stay. Except the only character we've seen that was content and happy to the very end was the rock star girl. She got to play. She got everyone to hear her voice. She was happy toward the end. That's why she vanished. Because she was able to rest in peace. And I'm not going to lie. My heart goes out to that girl. Like, what happened to her was so unfair. And f f Excuse my language, but F her parents. Like... You freaking caused your daughter to go through this dramatic experience. She loved music. She couldn't get love from you, so she had to get love from someone else. Or something else, which is music. And you took that away from her. You gotta be a damn shame of yourselves. With your drunk with your drunk ass husband and you as I mean, I'm not sure if I can blame the mother. I'm not sure whether it was a mutual fight or the husband wanted to fight and the mother was just retaliating, defending herself. That's what, from what it seems. And the daughter, thinking about her parents, she wanted to break it up because she didn't want her parents fighting. And what happened? She, she Because she wanted to stop her parents, she wanted to her parents and everyone in that family hold to get along, that she suffered for that. She suffered for thinking about her parents. How is that even fair? Like, I, I, I can't blame it. Like, Yuri's situation, the Rockstar Girl situation, what happened to them was not fair. I agree. I 100% agree. This isn't right. Like, come on now. But I was happy that in the end she was able to rest in peace and she was happy. She was content. As sad as that was, man. Rest in peace, girl. Rest in peace and continue to play your music. Hopefully in the in her reincarnated cycle, she still falls in love with the, the sound of music. I hope for the best for that girl. <clears throat> but still, man, like... A1 series. A1 like this is this is looking damn good damn i hit my microphone sorry about that microphone anyway guys um oh uh, what else do i want to talk about that interests me um these kids are extraordinarily extraordinarily capable and i'm wondering how long have these kids been here like like how long have they like freaking been here for about because they have a whole like underground colony going on purely used for manufacturing weaponry projectile weaponry or handheld arm handguns so yeah except the scythe dude he's like the only one that uses a scythe for some stupid reason why don't you use an armed like a long projectile weapon at least if you don't want to use a gun then at least use like a, a bow and arrow or like a crossbow or something but no, you choose a scythe, which is stupid, in my opinion. That thing is not useful. Well, it's useful to defend yourself, but I I pick a gun. I'm just saying. Give me a sniper, a handgun, I'll, I'll, even though I prefer a handgun. It's more flexible. But yeah. that It is interesting how they came about. It makes me wonder how long these kids have been here. Has it been recent? 
if does do years even matter for these kids? I mean, obviously it doesn't affect their body because I mean, they're 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 dead. They're already dead. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> let's just get into the questions. Question one: If you were in this guild, this group that's trying to fight against Angel in order to maintain their way of life here. Like, if you ended up in this scenario, what would you have done? Would you allow Angel to allow you to pass on and rest in peace? Or would you fight back against her also as a frontline rebellion? Let me know which would you pick and let me know why. For question one. Question two. Let me think. If you were to pick a custom weapon for yourself, what would it be? Explain to me why. Me, I'd definitely pick... A dual wielding handgun, baby. What is going on? Bam! Ba Bam! That's what I pick. That's what I pick as my weapon. But, uh, yeah, what would you pick? Like, if you had to pick a custom weapon for yourself. Um, by the way, um, you don't have to necessarily pick one. It can be more than one. Just don't make a massive list, you know what I mean? Like, pick, for example, three specifics or less, if you want to, of custom weapons you would like to have in this series. And explain to me why. But yeah, guys, that's it for me. I'm honestly really looking forward to the show. It is good. It is really good. So I am definitely looking forward to how the show continues on moving forward. So yeah, just to let you know, just this time once, we were doing three episodes of Angel Beats. From now on, on this day, we will be doing two episodes of Angel Beats and two episodes of Little Buster's Refrain on the same day that way neither series falls behind over the other so i apologize that there's no uh, little busters this week i'm gonna see what i can do to sneak one in for you guys okay at least two episodes for you guys i'll do i'll see what I, i'll see what i can do all right be patient damn it <laughs> anyway guys that's it for me see you guys in the next video Pe oh i forgot to do my thing don't forget to like, comment, sub, if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace! I'm out. Where's that stop recording? Stop recording, you son. That's it. Uh, there it is.